Okay, today we're going to talk about a good online marketing strategy or what actually makes up a good online marketing strategy. Uh, the first thing is you want to include, you have to include both long-term traffic and short-term short traffic. And what that means is traffic that's actually going to help you out short-term versus traffic that's going to help you lo out long-term, meaning you're going to get clients today versus you're setting yourself up for clients uh, over the long term. So things like paid advertising and uh, and uh, SEO, for example, are two alternative types of traffic. So uh, short-term traffic or immediate traffic is created through social engagements or through paid advertising. And so you can go out, you can buy some uh, ads through either Facebook or through uh, Google AdWords, and that'll help ge start generating traffic right away. And that's what I mean by short-term traffic, immediate traffic. The other thing you can do is you can start sending people to your site through social uh, interactions. So by getting onto your Facebook, onto your LinkedIn, onto your various social platforms. Uh, so good content and good brand last forever. And so part of what you're doing too is when you're doing social and when you're doing short term and when you're doing long term is you're building your brand. So you always want to keep that in mind when working on a on your marketing strategy. Uh, a good brand will last forever, but it does take time to implement and the time for it to be noticed. So that's why when you're running paid advertisement, uh, you're not going to be... Uh, benefiting from any brand what you're doing is you're actually just going to be selling it's it's really just a quick sell when you're doing paid advertising long-term content or content that's going to be last over the long term is what's going to be building your brand and it does take time so as i s keep saying a good marketing strategy includes both a long-term content and brand strategy uh, and a good marketing strategy also includes a short-term social and paid strategy uh, one of the long-term or long-term contracts can do, it can establish you as an authority on your subject. So the best long-form content you can produce, and I've done, is I've got three books out there, is a book. And a book, uh, believe me, a book can bring you authority like no other content type out there. So writing a book, just by, the, by default, you're the author of, and you can use it like a business card, which I... Uh, recommend that you do. So one of the things you want to look at as part of your long-term content is writing a book. Uh, paid advertising is just that. Basically you are paying to advertise and the bad thing about paid advertising is that it can upset people by having them bombard it with seeing your ads all over the place. So every time you're on Facebook you get these ads popping up or every time you're doing a search on Google you see these ads. Not so much Google because it's pretty it's become commonplace now that people expect these but uh, on Facebook people seem to think that you're intruding onto their wall when they see your ad. Uh, the challenge with long-term content and brand strategy is that it takes so friggin long uh, to, for, for, to see any kinds of results and it depends on the marketing and the competition but it could take anywhere from six to nine months before you start seeing measurable results and what i mean by that is you know you could be out there writing some sea seo uh, long form posts uh, that are optimized for seo and people aren't really finding your site until you've got tons of content out there and until uh, google starts uh, indexing your site properly so the way to really differentiate yourself though is by producing and building great quality content and content is really just an online way of saying producing information that would be helpful to your clients and what that means is giving giving back uh, or giving out thing something without any expectation for something in return and so if you give out enough content uh, uh, you know you give out some templates some articles some videos people are going to start uh, feeling obligated and recipro reciprocity uh, and start wanting to do something for you. Uh, the main job of a business owner, whether it's a professional, realtor, mortgage broker, investor, etc., is to work with their clients. So you shouldn't be worried about your website. You shouldn't have to be the person that's uh, looking after your website, your Facebook page, or writing your next article. You really need to be going out and hiring somebody to do that for while on the front it may look like it's you're saving money, but it's very expensive for you to do your own internet marketing. It looks like you're saving money when in fact you're pro it's probably costing you money because you know you're not spending as much time as you should with your clients, which is really, as a realtor, that's your main job. Um, 
and there are basically three types of traffic. So we're just going to summarize here. There are basically three types of traffic that you should be concerned about. The first one, as I've been mentioning, is paid traffic. And paid advertising brings traffic immediately. And the downside is that paid traffic can be very expensive. The other problem is that when that traffic goes away, then uh, and you stop paying, it doesn't, it doesn't last. So the traffic goes away when you stop paying. Uh, social traffic, I, again, I mentioned that earlier. The key is to find the right social media channel that serves you, your client best. Uh, the downside with social media traffic is that it can take a lot of time and a lot of effort by having to be on Facebook or having to be on LinkedIn or having to be on Instagram. The other problem is that people won't see your content for very long because w as when it scrolls by, it's gone. So uh, you have to be very active every day, all the time, and you have to be consistent with social traffic. That's one of the key, uh, the key uh, criteria for social traffic is to be consistent. And search traffic. So search takes the work or takes the most work, but produces the biggest results and probably the, m the best converting results. So creating content can be expensive, but it's a one-time cost. Right, so once you create an article, once you create a video, it's out there forever, and people will see those uh, that content and will will notice uh, that content long after you've created it. The biggest problem with search traffic, though, is that it can take a long time for people to see the results. So, content decisions. The other thing you will have to think about is what type of content will you have will you want to produce? How will that content be distributed? Like, what social media platforms make sense for you? to be active on and based on your audience. Again, so if you're doing business to business, so maybe LinkedIn works better for you. If you're doing business consumer, number one platform obviously is Facebook. And depending on the age of your audience, it may be Facebook or it may be Instagram. And how often will you need to create content and how frequently do you and will you want to post? So when looking at online marketing or when looking at your online marketing strategy, make sure you are taking care of your day-to-day -day business needs, and at the same time, you have a plan for the future. So that's everything, and thanks very much for listening.